Nah, man. I just finished recording this week's Freaky Friday. Why? Yeah, man. This is the new setup. Yo, that's sick, monitor. dude. But anyways, bro, I'm gonna hit the stack for tonight. So yeah, speak to you tomorrow. Quite scared for tonight after watching those videos. And I watched this one about skinwalkers. They're like things that look like us, but they're on us. Can you imagine that was real? Hello everyone, today we're going to be reacting to some short horror films. We're going to be doing some animated ones this week. I hope you enjoyed the skit at the start. Enjoy. I was looking for a car to buy for my son for his 18th birthday. I was searching all the typical car websites. Why is this mono so far com, to the right? eBay Motors. They were all overpriced as expected. Craigslist was the only place to find an actual deal. About a week into my search, I found an 03 Toyota Camry. It had 67,000 miles. No accidents, no damage, and good condition for only 3500 Is that a good price? This seems like a steal for such a reliable car with such low mileage. The seller yeah. lived about 10 miles from me, which was a reasonable drive when looking for a car. I gave him a call to set up a time to come check it out. The man sounded normal on the phone. He assured me that there were absolutely no problems with the car. Right, look at that he guy. For a start. Himself like, a look at his teeth, man. Like, I've got terrible teeth, I have to have braces, but bro's got a gold tooth, that's never a good sign. Bob, I brought along 3500 in cash, even though I planned on wiggling down the price as much as possible. This is card, bro. I pulled up the dirt road to Bob's property about 15 minutes early. Right, first off, can you see a car? No, so just leave. Like, there's no car there, obviously. So you just leave. And that's the most bookiest house you've ever seen in your life. Why is there an orange peel as his window? That means he's a sex offender. It was a tiny little house with a decent sized property, only because it was a bit far from the nearest neighbors. The garage was open, so I walked over to see if anybody was inside, but except for an unusual amount of car parts, it was empty. The car was nowhere in sight. The only car on the property was an old pickup truck. I went over to the front door to check the house numbers. It was the right address. The doorbell button was missing, so I knocked on the front door. I knocked for exactly five minutes before deciding to give five him a Five minutes? Call. I would have left way before So that. I dialed his number and I heard the sound of a cell yeah, phone ringing rings from people inside the when house. I'm, like, going to, like, meet them. I was extremely like, I'd ring them, like, confused at this before. point. Now I knew I had the right house. I didn't understand why, if he was home, why he wasn't answering. That is I decided strange. I had to take a peek through one of the windows to see if anybody was inside. Peering through the glass, I couldn't really see much as it was pretty dark inside the house. I saw a very old-fashioned dining room set, but across from that, I saw somebody oh my standing God. at the back door of the house, staring outside. I figured that must have been Bob, so I knocked on the window, but he didn't even move. There was no gate or That's anything to the backyard. Man. It was just a wide open yard since this wasn't a rural area. I simply walked around the house to the backyard. People, sometimes you gotta realize in life some things are way too good to be true. Didn't understand how he couldn't hear me. When I got to the back door, I made a shocking realization. The figure standing by the door was a taxidermied human oh being. Oh my god. Oh my god! I ran straight back the way I came and back to my car. I looked Wait, up what? one last time before driving off. The blinds to the window I had peeked into had been shut. Imagine you went into two the, the house. Blinds bent open. Oh my god. Somebody was at that window watching me. You can probably guess I had the gas pedal to the floor the whole way home. Obviously. The whole situation still makes no sense. All the car parts, the fact that there was no Toyota Camry, the taxidermied human being. So, before the taxidermied human being, you go, there was no car, but there was a dead body. Is that, would the dead body not be like the very first thing you'd see? Being? The fact that there was no car there leads me to believe that whoever that man was wasn't planning on selling me anything. And that also leads to the disturbing thought that I was very close to becoming a lifeless statue standing yeah, man. out that man's back door. You were. And in this one, everyone have got the old woman animated horror. Also, it's not called the old woman. I'll never forget this night. The pizza place I worked at was about to close, and I was getting ready to go home, when the phone rang. 
I was working the counter alone that night, so I was taking calls. I picked up the phone. There was complete silence, so I hung up. Why do people do that? Why do people ring places and just sit in silence? Like, if you're going to ring and then panic, just be like, yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to call. About a minute later, the phone rings again, so I pick up again. Still silence. I was about to hang up again when I heard the very weak and cold voice of an old woman on the other end. She said she wanted a regular pie delivered. I remained polite on the phone, but on the inside I was screaming. I just wanted to get home and end my shift. I called out to my boss that somebody is requesting a delivery. He told me I had to go. I was upset at first, but I realized it's another tip, and the old ones usually tip the most, so yeah, I decided it was okay. I took down the address and told her it would Mark be there the soon, lane. but she had already hung up. I thought that was- Whoop! Small 9-inch pizza is 10.99. Like, anywhere past 6 99 is absolutely criminal for a 9-inch pizza. It was rude, but I ignored it and yelled to the chef that I needed one regular. My boss told me to just go home after the delivery as the place would be closed. So a little before 10 o'clock, I got in my car and put the address into my GPS. The house was 7 miles away. The GPS took me to the quiet side of town. I arrived to the house. It was a small, one-floor house on a very quiet and empty block. I took the pizza and walked up to the door and rang the doorbell. Take the hint, man. There were no lights on, the on in the house. I hoped that she hadn't given me the wrong address. I rang the doorbell again. There was well, still give her no a answer. Second. She's an old I was woman. about to give up when I turned my head and saw somebody standing at the door. Oh window. my god! I got a little freaked out and Some backed ugly up ass at first, woman, man. But I eventually got closer to the window to see the person. <laughs> it was an old woman, probably in her How late was she gonna 70s. Eat the pizza with no teeth? She was just staring at me with a blank expression. I yelled. If someone was staring at me like that, I'd be like. Through the glass that I had her pizza. She didn't react to what I said. So I screamed it louder. A big smile ran across her face. Not a pleasant, genuine smile. It was a smile that sent chills down my spine. What the hell? I still remember that exact face she made through the window. I decided- I'm telling you, it's the ghoul teeth? I decided that I was freaked out enough and got back to my car and set the pizza in the passenger seat. Should've just left it on I the I had to text set. my boss about this. I shot him a quick text and started my car, ready to get the hell away. I looked to my right to get one more look. Ah! I saw the woman standing right oh outside my God. the passenger side window, giving me the same stare she had given me before. I put my car Jesus in drive Christ, and drove down the street, hell? not How looking back. How did she back. get there so fast? My boss never made me do a late night delivery again. You are seriously scared of an old woman looking at you. So you never delivered again. The poor woman just wanted a pizza. Like, she waited at the door, she was like, happy, and then you've walked away with her pizza, so she was like, so she just came at the door looking for her pizza, and you've just sped away. The poor woman, man, she's probably starving. And for the third video today, we've got a regular short horror film from Propeller Presents Sleepy Eyes. I've heard it's got a lot of jump scares, or like a really bad one, so let's jump straight into it. Sleepy Eyes. Why would you have them on your bedroom door? That's just so annoying. Best believe in real life we'll spend like two hours on TikTok just to go to sleep. Oh my god. What was that? Oh. But the things are moving. Oh my god, man. I had an experience this literally last night, so I was filming the skit. And this is going to sound very embarrassing, but when I film these skits, I always do it at night. And it proper terrifies us because they want to add all the scary like music and everything. So I'm sat there and I'm hearing like tapping noises. 
and I'm thinking, what is that noise? So like, I literally go check it out, like not in it, like not in a video, like just to actually check it out. And there was nothing there. But then I came back upstairs and the tap and just start again. But after like five minutes, it just stopped. I was like, but it was like, but like that, but like fainter. Like it was like from somewhere upstairs, but like it seemed far away. Oh my god. I don't like this man. Jesus Christ. Just sleep the other way, man. It's not hard. Oh! oh my god. That literally means it was there. I told you the things were moving. It's about time you get up. There's a lock right there. Just lock the door. Check your room and lock the door. Oh my god, man. What is that? But get the f out of here, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I would do that, I'm not gonna lie. I probably would, I'd throw something at it. I'd get that metal thing to dash it off its head. Go on. God, how big is your blanket? You've been pulling for 25 minutes, hurry up. Oh my god. There's nothing sir. Oh! oh they're gone. It's under the bed. Do not look under the bed. Don't be that dumb. This girl, man. Just, just probably boot your leg under the bed. You might hit your shin, but you might hit it in the face. You never know. It's not gonna be there. Jesus Christ, man. I knew it wouldn't be there. I was wrong! Oh. That just give me the fright of my life. Oh my god. And for the last video of today, we've got Bloody Mary, horror short film. It's got 34 million views and it was released like seven years ago. So it's done very, very well. And let's jump straight into it. Have any of you guys ever played Bloody Mary? I did. I was so scared. I was like eight. Why, man? Maybe we, did, we had to use candles at my age to make it work. Is that something behind it? Right here. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary. I didn't expect this to be an Indian short horror film. Bloody Mary. Or like Asian. Eastern Asian. Is there someone around? <laughs> Wait a minute, I think I've just got my geography completely wrong. We're gonna check that out. As you all can see, I just took up the Bloody Mary challenge and uh, now I thought I'll make a video out of it because I know my friends wouldn't believe me. So, are you guys here with me? We'll make a recording of the Bloody Mary. Um, apparently there's no power also at home, so there's no way I can go and switch on the lights, even if I mm -hmm. want to. Um, 
So let's start. Why would you do it on the one day where you can't get light? Bloody Mary. Bloody Marys. Didn't you just do it? Bloody Mary. See? I told you. To nothing be fair, happened. nothing happened. <laughs> oh! What was that? Is she home alone? Someone's got to be playing a prank on her, like a boyfriend or daughter or a brother or something. That's a very nice clean home. Jesus Christ, man. Who is that? Get those angles, girl. But it's a pizza delivery. Just get the door, man. Someone really wants to open the door. <laughs> Hello, pizza delivery. Check the eyeglass thing you've got one, I've just seen it. I used to have turtles. Open the door, man! It's like Bloody Mary, let me in. Real. Don't answer the door, man. What? Oh my god. What's wrong with her? No way. There's nothing there. Ah! These horror films, man. I think about these all night. I can't sleep because of your guys' energy. Ah! Jeez. So after all of that, he's gonna open the door. Ajay, what's wrong with you? Can't you tell me that it's me open the door? You're banging the door so badly. Told you it was a boyfriend. To death. I'm standing and knocking the door from long time. You can lock me from inside. How can I get in? That's true. I'm sorry, please come in. Why are you even asking permission? That's not him. Get fresh and come soon. That's not him. She's just let Bloody Mary into her house. Run. Oh. What kind of lock was that? Sorry guys. So, there was someone banging at my door. And I got shit scared. Clearly. I thought it was Bloody Mary. But guess what? It was my husband. See, I took up the Bloody Mary challenge and there was no one else that came instead of my husband. So, she no still stood there. He looks like every Indian guy in every Bollywood movie ever made. Poor one. No. Hey, honey. I'm sorry I'll be coming home late. Uh Do you want me to get something for you? Hello? 
I've just got chills. Oh my god. Run. Don't cry, Bloody Mary. It's all okay. It's all good, man. You're not. You're not scary. It's all good. I feel bad for Bloody Mary now. Come on, Bloody Mary. She's just sad. She's got no friends. Never mind. You gotta feel bad for her, though. Anyways, everyone, have a great night. I hope you're terrified. You better have watched with headphones. Like and subscribe. Share the video about.